We've talked before about the social psychologist Amy Cuddy, who had the fantastically successful TED Talk, but then was later right. essentially bullied out of Harvard and out of science by bloggers. But there is another Harvard story, this one involving one of the dreaded pale penis people, that you want to talk about, and it involves Mark Hauser. Mark Hauser was in the psychology department at Harvard. And this is before Amy Cuddy ever had any problems, was ever attacked. And and Mark Hauser did, act, he did what very few people do, which is that he committed actual scientific fraud. He made stuff up. He was treated with the kiddest of kid gloves. He was on leave before he was eventually dismissed. He made stuff up. And they are doing everything that they can to not attack him, to say, we have to let the process go through. We have to make sure that no one is unfairly treated, blah, 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 blah. Where did that ever happen for Amy Cuddy? You know, Mark Hauser made stuff up and came out smelling better at, at year one into his debacle than she has after several years. That, that's ridiculous. What I'm getting from you is the argument that raising awareness and telling your story actually does make the world a better place. For example, it is surprising to me that Harvard would have treated Mark Hauser and Amy Cuddy so differently. I mean, okay, I mean, it's surprising to you too, right? But now that I know that, I'm glad to know that. And now that I know it, and anyone who watches this vlog has the opportunity to react to it, to do something about it because of our awareness. We can spread this blog <laughs> or, uh, or one of the New York Times stories or any of the various media in which the tale has been covered, and then we can do something. That's what makes change. Is I think you're right. Stories make change, and telling people stories, uh, talking about these things make makes change.